Hey everybody, it's Son of Artist, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Oh, did my recording? God, this is awful. I, I have no idea. I just... <laughs> I'm stumbling over my words at first, and then I'm like, oh wait, did I press the recording button? Oh my god, I'm gonna have fun editing the beginning part of this video. If I choose to edit anything at all. Um, how's everybody doing? I'm, I'm taking these boots off. Why am I wearing these boots? I think I wanted to get across the sand better, but we're we're just not going to be wearing those at all. So in the last time we did the uh, Spirit Temple as a child, and now we get to do it as an adult, and that's exciting to me. I just, I don't know, I know I've said it before, but I really can't get over how much I enjoy that the final temple in the uh, game uses both, you know, Link as a child and Link as an adult. Like, I just, I think that's so cool. It's like the two, I, I guess, I, I said earlier in the Let's Play that, you know, Ocarina of Time is like a very classic Zelda series. It doesn't really have much to, like, separate it from other games. You know, at least as apparently as, like, you know, how Majora Mask, Majora's Mask has the um, three-day cycle and Wind Waker has the sailing. But, you know, and I was thinking about it later on when I was editing. Ocarina of Time kind of does. I mean... Ocarina of Time has, like, the past and future thing, so, I mean, that's, that's something. I guess I was a little quick to say, uh, when I was talking about that, or, uh, whenever I was talking about that earlier in the Let's Play, but, um, I guess it just doesn't really hit me quite as hard, because they don't really do a whole lot with it, I feel like, other than, uh, you know, story and plot things. Like, because, I don't know, yeah, I mean, you retread areas as an adult, but I don't know. Like, I don't think about, like, going to, d like, I think about, um, like, going to, uh, Goron City, and, as a kid, and all the, you know, meeting Gorons for the first time, and climbing that trail, and getting the Goron's bracelet, and meeting Darunia, and stuff like that, but when I think about Goron City as an adult, I think of stop here really quick to get the adult tunic, and then the new areas we explore, Death Mountain Crater, and um, Fire Temple, really. So I think it's cool that um, Spirit Temple does use both a kid and an adult to solve it. I wish there were more things like you, that you had to do like that in the game. I mean, I, I guess Bottom of the Well is sort of like that, because you have to go there as a kid, but... I don't know. Whoa. Ooh, Gold Sculpture. What were we at, then? 98, and there's another one in here, so then I guess the one I'm missing was the one from Zora's River, if I recall correctly. Um... If that is from Zora's River. I know it's a part of Zora's Domain on the map, but... I could have sworn you could have gotten that by rolling. Do I have to put on the Butter Boots again to get this? I guess we're gonna have to. Uh, so how's everybody doing today? I'm actually having a pretty good day. It, it was very, very nice yesterday on Halloween. Um, so I was reading a bunch of uh, new comics I picked up outside. And... That is, I was reading outside after I had gone to pick up a bunch of new comics, not, you know, I found a bunch of comics outside and picked them up off the ground or something like that. Get out of here, like, like. I don't have time for you. Yeah, my comic store was actually having a, uh, a sale, so then I was, um, I picked up another, uh, hardcover that I wanted for 30% um, off, and that was really cool. And I went out to a park today, because I had the day off, and started reading some of it there. So, I didn't read all of it, though. I'm going to go back later today, after I do this and finish it, I think. Um, oh, not that one. The one that needs a lock. Yeah, so I don't know. It's just, it's really good weather right now, and I'm just really... I don't know, kind of in a good mood enjoying it. Even though when I was walking down the road, some asshole in the car just, like, shouted, get a job at me. I have no idea, like, why he would say that. Like, what about me would indicate that, but whatever. Not gonna let it bother me too much. 
on a worse day, I was if I was feeling worse, I, it probably would have gotten to me. But whatever. I'm just I don't know. I'm just kind of in a good mood today. I'm I'm very in the mood for Zelda today. Reading that encyclopedia has really made me. Uh, oh. oh, this guy's invisible. Can we? Yeah, can we just not even deal with the lens of truth? Did we get him? No, there's more. Ah, oh, no, no, don't choke me, don't choke me! Alright, that's two. And I got the third one somewhere. Um, yeah, reading that Zelda encyclopedia, I am, ah, man, I'm still loving that book so much. Can't wait to go back and read some more of it. That's really putting me in the mood for Zelda a lot, too. Like, I'm very... I've been thinking after this Let's Play, like, what am I gonna do? You know, play personally for myself. And, um... I don't know, I think I might actually finally go and try Skyward Sword out. If, it had, if I had it sitting in my... My pile of backlog games for a while now, I may as well, uh... Go ahead and give it a try. Reading that book's got me excited to play it. I know everyone doesn't really have such a great opinion of Skyward Sword, but you know, I really did watch watching uh, Nintendo Capri Sun's Let's Play of it from, God, what is it, like six years ago now? Oh, that just summons a wall master. You know, it's weird, because I was thinking about this earlier. Why do they call them wall masters if they, like, fall down from the ceiling. Wouldn't they call them, like, ceiling masters or something instead? Oh, I didn't even want to push it that way. I meant to do it this way. Because in the original Legend of Zelda, when they first appeared, then they w it was like a top-down game. Which, you know, thank you, some type of artist, for explaining what the Legend of Zelda is. But, I mean, in that one, they come from the wall. So... I guess they just, you know, went and stuck with it there. What? I didn't mean to hit you. You go away. I thought there was a switch down here. Oh, well, you're just gonna hop around and explode. I'll see you later. Um, but I don't know, because now I'm trying to think, because in, um... Oh, we do need the hover boots for this. Because in A Link to the Past, th did they come... I don't think they came from the walls. Oops. I forgot to roll. Oh, well. Um, I don't think they came from the walls. Didn't they, um... Uh-oh. I can get back up, can I? Yeah, there's a hookshot target up there. Um... They fell from the ceiling, too, didn't they? I don't know. I I'm having a little trouble remembering off the top of my head right now. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter too much. I think it was interesting they actually gave a new type of Wallmaster a new name called Floor Master. And, um... Oh, we actually have the hammer out. For, uh, Ocarina of Time. Those are the ones that split up into three. Alright, so that opened a door somewhere. Oh, here's the other thing we need to do. But yeah, Skyward Sword, I'm gonna... I'm gonna predict that Fee is going to really annoy me. But I'm hoping it's not so much that... I can't enjoy the rest of the game. Oh man, really? Come on, you're not gonna hook shot from over here, can I? There we go. Um, because I don't know. I know the other thing a lot of people have a big problem with in the game is um the motion controls. I can't. I don't know. I feel like it's such a mixed reaction to it that, despite what some people say, hello, there's supposed to be a scarecrow up there. Um, I don't know. I, I, I kind of have a feel- <sighs> Man, do I have to do it from all the way over here? I kind of have a feeling some people maybe don't have their sensor bar set up quite straight or something like that. Because I don't know. Anytime motion controls have been involved for me, I, I don't ever really remember them being broken or anything like that. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. I will say I'll probably have end up saying I'd prefer to play it on with an actual controller, but you know, and that does all the gold sculptures in this temple. Got one more to get. Oh, uh, can we land on that? Nope. Oh well. 
How do we get the other chest up there, though? Oh, uh, well, we can take these shoes off again. But, I mean, to tell you the truth, though, even before Skyward Sword, if I do decide to go to that one, I kind of want to play Ocarina of Time again. It's it's so weird, because, I mean, I just Let's Played it and everything like that, but, I mean, normally I would finish Ocarina of Time, like, did I never open that? Jeez. Normally I would finish Ocarina of Time, you know, within, like, a week, but, since I was kind of, oh, well, jeez. Since I was waiting for good days to record, it ended up taking, like, a month, and I feel like I've, I don't know, just only kind of really dipped my toes into the game. So I kind of want to play the Master Quest version uh, on my own as well. Um, so maybe I'll do that. I kind of want to play Majora's Mask at the same time too. I don't know. I'm just like in a big Zelda mood. So I didn't. Ex I don't think I explained it when I was a kid, but these things that pop up. You're supposed- they're- they're weak to fire. Din's fire and fire arrows can make very quick work of them. But, you can also press one of these buttons, and then they'll kind of move in a weird pattern. Not- it's not weird, it, it's kind of symmetrical to you. Like an inverse of your- what you're doing. And you're supposed to kind of lure them into, um, into the flame. But, I mean, like I said, Din's fire and, uh... Fire arrows work just fine, so, you know, go nuts. I think I did it as a- oh, hello. Yeah, see, so if I back up, he'll back up. If I go forward, they'll go forward, but... Whatever, we're just gonna take care of him like that. This room always... I found weird. You're supposed to, like, trigger one of these Armos Knights and have them jump on the switch for you. And, I don't know, it looked like he stayed there that time, but they, they jump around so much that it's kind of like... You know... <laughs> how, do, how do you expect it to stay on that switch? But, I mean, I've never really had a problem with it. I don't know anybody else that's really had a problem with it. So I guess it's not that big a deal. But whenever I come into that room, it always just, like, kind of trips me up. Like... I don't know. Whatever. Are we out in the Iron Knuckle already? Yeah, Spirit Temple goes by so fast just because of that break in the middle. Alright, so now let's see if we can do this the way I meant. Yeah, it's so easy as an adult when you have that. And he's dead already. And this means we can go back outside here. And get our second dungeon treasure. It's cool that a dungeon has two dungeon treasures. But what I was saying earlier about, um, you know, needing Adult Link and Child Link to complete the temple, I think it would have been cool if some more Zelda games utilized that game's mechanic to, in order to complete a dungeon. Like, imagine in The Link to the Past if there was a dungeon that you would need to go between the light world and the dark world to complete. I think that would have been pretty cool. There may have been something like that in the Link Between Worlds, I can't really remember. Or imagine if, like, in Majora's Mask, parts of the dungeon would change and allow you to go by, but you, um... You would need to do it over the course of three days. Now that one, that one I can imagine not being so fun for a lot of people, because a lot of people seem to really struggle with the Majora's Mask three days concept. I don't know if I would if I had played it later in my life. I still kind of think one of the reasons why it never really bugs me is because it not only did I play it when I was a kid, it was also one of the first Zelda games I played as a kid, and I just really liked it too. So it's just something I kind of got a natural feel for. Having the guide really helped on that too, but I can go more about that whenever I do the Majora's Mask Let's Play, which I don't really know when it will be. I don't. It'll probably be my next Zelda game that I do. But, um, I don't actually know when that will be. Oops. That's my phone ringing. I forgot to silent it. Oh well. I can barely hear it now. I don't even think you can hear it. Yeah, I have, I have a feeling I'm gonna get a bunch of, uh... Excuse me. I'm trying to skip this puzzle. I have a feeling I'm gonna be getting a bunch of, uh... 
spam calls lately. Election is coming up next week, and they're all over trying to get people to, you know, vote for their guy. <sighs> what was I saying about Majora's Mask? Yeah, it'll probably be the next Zelda game I do, but I don't know if it's going to be, like, the next longer game I do, because... Not that this has been, like, anywhere near as exhausting as, like, when I tried to do the GU Let's Play uh, straight for, like, half a year. But, um, I think I do want to go back to, like, some shorter games after this one. I mean, I started a bunch of series that I definitely want to go back to. I mean, I could do Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3. I can do Sonic at 3 and Knuckles. I can do Metroid Fusion. There's a lot I can do. And I kind of wouldn't like to go back to something shorter for a while. But, I don't know. I don't even know, um... Because I... I, I, I guess I didn't say this and jump the gun so early, but I kind of want to um, do Metroid Prime for my next like longer game whenever I do that. Because Metroid Prime is another game I'm like super passionate about, and it's been a couple years since the last time I played it, so I would like to get to it again. I played through Metroid Prime 3 earlier this year. That was another game that, like, I had never played or watched anyone play for a really long time. Honestly, when I, I... I really wasn't a big fan of the Wii when it came out. I really wasn't, like, a fan of, like, the casual gamer thing. It was, like, it's kind of, like, embarrassing to talk about now, because I just kind of want to tell my younger self, chill out, it's a video game. It's not worth getting worked up about. Even though I do kind of feel like, you know, maybe... Nintendo didn't reach its maximum potential with their uh, first-party franchises on the Wii. But that's a discussion for a different time. Um, but yeah, when I saw the trailer for Metroid Prime 3, and it, it was like, She's got a darkness inside, and she kinda likes it. I was like, oh my god, it's like, it, it felt like so cringy watching that trailer. So I was just kind of like, I don't know. I, I wasn't a huge fan of Metroid Prime 2 either. Metroid Prime 2 is like one of those games where it's like, I'd rather watch somebody play it, like as a let's play, than play it for myself. There's just like too many annoying parts to Metroid Prime 2 for me, although every now and then I do get like... Can you come down here? I do get in the mood to play it. Actually, I've been kind of feeling in the mood to play that one too, I don't know. Just to give it like another try, but... So I, I guess maybe after Metroid Prime 2 I wasn't really, you know, feeling Metroid Prime 3. I mean, I re replayed Metroid Prime 1 many times throughout high school. Um, so I always loved that one, but I guess I ended up kind of feeling like, well, I'm a Metroid Prime fan, not like, you know, a fan of the whole series, which is kind of untrue today, <laughs> thankfully. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Something about 3 just really did not look appealing to me, and then, I don't know, Nintendo Capri Sun did his Let's Play of it like a year or two ago, and I ended up really enjoying what I saw from there. I still... Th I thought it was more interesting than Prime 2, but... Like, in terms of visuals, but... I still think Prime 1 had, like, the best locations. Um... But... I, I ended up playing Prime 3 for myself then, earlier this year, and I had a really fun time with it. I'd actually like to go back and play it again, uh, sooner, rather than later. Because, I don't know, if I could, I, I would I would let's play all three of them, to be honest. And I don't know, I kind of want to also revisit all three of them again before Metroid Prime 4 comes out. Which I am a little hesitant to get excited for, because I feel like the last few things I legit got excited for, I ended up getting let down by. But, I guess we'll find out whenever it comes out. Ho ho ho, looks like someone's here. Kume, or Kume, I don't know. I don't know how your name is pronounced. 
he he he. Looks like it, Kotake. I'm pretty sure that's Kotake. I feel like Kotake mushrooms. Or is that she talking? <laughs> I don't know. What an outrageous fellow he is to intrude so boldly into our temple. Ho 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 ho. Merry Christmas. We should teach this outrageous fellow a lesson. Oh, loyal minion. Uh-oh. It's the spoiler if you left the title screen on. Destroy this intruder on our behalf. While you go and disappear or whatever. Oh, no. It's an iron... Oh. I don't have an axe. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. But oh no, it's an iron knuckle. Whatever will we do? Oh my god, guys. <sighs> my fingers, they're, they're coated with sweat. That paddle was so neck and neck. <laughs> Naburu, you look the same. Uh, where am I? Well, well, looks like she's back to normal, Kume. She's just a little girl, but she commands a lot of respect among the Gerudo Kotake. I should be doing my annoying old woman voice for these two witches. Maybe we should make her work for the Great Ganondorf for a little while longer. Ho ho ho. Then we should brainwash her again. Oh my. <coughs> okay, I can't do that today. That's gonna. <coughs> That's gonna mess my throat up too much today. Despite being very nice outside, it is a little warm for the season today. And whenever temperatures, you know, change too much at once for me, for whatever reason, my throat always seems to act up. Alright, so I was gonna... Well, I guess we can finish this off in this video. It is the last temple after all. Look at that stupid kid. He came on his own to offer himself as a sacrifice to the great Ganondorf. I do like the lighting in this area here. From like the portals they come out of. With my flame, I will burn him to the bone! With my frost, I will freeze him to his soul! These witches have the weirdest eyes. They're like... It's almost like their face is a nose, and the eyes are on the side of the nose. It's so... weird. But okay, it's mirror shield time. This fight is... weird. So they're gonna cast magic at you, and you're gonna want to reflect one element back at the other witch. And Z-targeting is not going to be your friend while trying to do that. You're going to be a lot better off manually trying to aim the fire yourself. Because I feel like you just have so much better control than if you were trying to Z-target and aim. Because even if you targeted the other witch, like, for whatever reason, I feel like it just would not... Well, other witch, where are you? Oh yeah, now come out. So I'll try to, like, show off what I mean. Although she's, like, right there, so this one might actually hit her. Yeah, see? It even looked like it was hitting her, and it was just, like, bleh, so... You know, whatever. No, get no Z-Target, get off! Oh, shoot. I can't Z-Target off now. Oh, well, that was lucky. Yeah, I don't know. I just always had trouble reflecting the magic back with Z-Targeting. So I just kind of prefer to do it like this. Well, you know. And then hit the other one. Jeez. Hey, wait a minute. That's that moon and... That symbol that's not supposed to be there anymore, because they removed it from the game, right? Am I wrong? Is that the same symbol that... Like, is on the... Supposed to be on the mirror? Oh, it's there now. Oh, it, maybe it's... Do I have the version that has that? I don't know, there's this weird thing with like the blocks you push in this game, about having like a symbol on it in the original version that uh, 
didn't go over too well with uh, some faction in the world somewhere, so Nintendo changed it. I think I might actually have an earlier copy then, because I think that's that simple. But oh no, they fused! Like in Dragon Ball Z. And she winked at us, she's into us too. Alright, so this one, you gotta absorb three elemental attacks in a row, so she did ice, so just absorb the ice. And it's not gonna be too hard at first, but then she's gonna, like, you know, mix up the order in which she's throwing them at you. This one you can see target, it should be fine. And then, for whatever reason, the mirror shield will breathe the element back at her, and she'll just sit there, panting seductively with her enormous cleavage facing you. That would be an interesting scenario. What, what would happen if Link got into a predicament where he was being seduced by something and falling for it? I can never really see that too much. I guess Link is too noble for that kind of thing, but whatever. I just think it would be give him a little more character. I do like how in some of the later games, they're trying to give Link more of, like, a personality. Like, make him, like, laugh more and do some funny things with his faces and stuff like that. Like, I think I remember from... I don't remember a lot from the Skyward Swords, from the Let's Play I saw of it. But I do remember early in the game, um, he's, like, jumping down from somewhere. And I think Groose is, like, jumping right on top of him. And he looks behind him, and he just, and his, like, mouth just, like, juts open. He's like, ah! Oh, don't want that one. Oh, God, and if it touches the ground, then it's gonna have a damage effect, so try not to get caught up with that. She just disabled our little pattern. Oh, nope, nope, nope. The Wind Waker Link, obviously, has a lot of great faces, too. I don't know, I just like to see... My characters, uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that! Well, I just like to see the characters I play as, uh, emote a little bit more. You know, I love Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, and it doesn't really bother me in this game, just because I'm so used to it, but... I, I, I do have to admit, wouldn't hurt for Link's face to change up a little bit here and there. I mean, he gasps every now and then, but... I don't know. Wait, can we finish this fight off? This was supposed to take, like, two minutes to do. There we go. Oh no, your 30 minutes is up. Sheet, what a fresh kid. This time we'll get serious, right, Kotake? What? Hey, Kume, what is that above your head? I don't know, but you have one over your head too, Katake. But I'm only 400 years old! And I'm just 380 years old! We're twins, don't try to lie about your age! You must have gone senile! Who are you calling senile? Is that how you treat your older sister? We are twins, how can you be older? Ah, how heartless you are! How can you be so ungrateful? You're heartless. You ungrateful. And it's weird, because, like, we just killed two people. Like, I I, know, I remember saying before, Link doesn't really kill people. Just monsters. And I know technically, like, you know, they're witches. They're sort of monsters, but... You know, when they when they put the halo above their heads, even if it's supposed to be, like, for comedic effect, it, it kind of does feel like we just killed two people. Two old ladies at that, so... Good job, Hero of Time. Let's go uh, free our sage up and finish this episode off. It's going on a little long. It's so weird, like, Link isn't a crystal when he goes to the Sacred Realm, because it's like, it's like the opposite of a Link to the Past, where he's, re like, rescuing all the maidens trapped in crystals, and then now he's, like, in the crystal, too. Oh my god, I couldn't have... Who would have thought you'd be a sage? I thought it was going to be Ganondorf. Kid, let me thank you. <laughs> look, 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 the little kid has become in the past seven years a competent swordsman. By the way, I really messed up. 
I was brainwashed by those old witches and used by Ganondorf to do his evil will. But isn't it funny that a person like me could turn out to be the Sage of Spirit? And now I'm going to fight them as one of the six sages. <laughs> I'm going to pay them back for what they did to me. Kid. No. Link, the hero of time. Instead of keeping the promise I made back then, I give you this medallion. Take it! What? No! I'd rather have the sex! I don't want this stupid worthless medallion! You- you implied we were gonna have sex? Aw, oh, damn it. Oh well. We just have these- this medallion with two sperms on it instead. If only I knew you would become such a handsome man. <sighs> well, don't rub it in. Yeah, you should've. Jeez, but then I guess Nintendo couldn't keep their E rating. Although apparently Link has sex with women in Zelda 2 and it's just fine. But that's besides the point. Oh, Raru! Go, go away! I need to end the video! Oh my god. You gotta wash out the corners of your eyes there. At the Temple of Time. You know, it's weird. It says you have to go back to the Temple of Time. You're gonna warp there, but the cutscene shows Link walking in. It's like the dumbest place to... Whatever, this video's gone on long enough, so I guess in the next episode we're gonna go to the Temple of Time and uh, see what's there. As if you already don't know. See you later, guys.